So creating blogs on a Wix website is super easy. So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through why I use Wix to create blogs for my website and exactly how to do it. So thanks for watching this channel, Start Starting Up, all about sharing tips for standing online. Videos every Monday and Thursday. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And also give this video a like and share it around with anyone that you think will find it useful. And before we get going, I wanna ask you the question, are you using Wix or any other platform for building your website and maybe even creating blog posts already? Let me know what you're using in the comment section below and tell me how is it for making blogs easy hard are you looking for some improvement i'd love to know down below so a little while ago i had a dilemma i wanted to make a website to support this youtube channel where people could basically find my content in blog posts and written format rather than just these videos. And I wanted to be able to offer people a bit of extra value like giving them downloadable content or links to videos like outside of YouTube on different websites. So I wanted a website to support this brand, but I didn't have the time to put hours and hours and hours of time building a website myself or paying an experienced developer to make the site and do all the designs for me because you know those people are really expensive to hire. And I found out that the resolution to my problem was to use Wix to build my website. Now I made a video a little while ago called Building My Wix Website From Scratch In Just 15 Minutes, where I showed you through all the steps of starting my website, so registering with Wix, to getting my site up and running on the internet in just 15 minutes. If you wanna watch that video, I put a link to it in the description box below, and also the card screen up top. So I had my basic website up and running in 15 minutes, and then I did a bit of extra touching up, and it, you know that took me to a couple of hours to get a basic site up and running. But I didn't have a blog at that point in time. So jumping into my computer, you can see my website up and running. You know, here's the start starting up Wix website. And if we go to one of my sections, so let's go to maybe, this is what I built in uh, Wix, you know, really quickly. And we're gonna go to the Merch by Amazon section. And I'll show you that I now have my supporting blog posts up and running for the different categories that I talk about on the channel. So I've got my Merch by Amazon section. If we go to the Shopify page, you'll see that I've got my 21 step guide, uh, which it's loading now but if you go down below you can see my Shopify blog posts I've started to put up so you know I've started putting blog posts up recently on my website and I found it's really quick and really straightforward to do with Wix and I'll talk you through exactly how it works now so we're back on my Merch by Amazon site and we can see my blog posts down here this is the front end I'm gonna jump into the back end of Wix now so what you get when you log into the Wix control panel to show you how easy it was for me to set up these blog posts so here's the back side of that Merch by Amazon page. Uh, and here we can see my creator tools, you know, and the options that I get given when I'm in the back side of the site looking to build stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna jump over, no, actually no, we'll, we'll click on these blog posts here. So we can see the blog post down at the bottom of my Merch by Amazon site. And what I can do easily is just press manage posts here. Cool, so now we have the posts area of the blog section of Wix and we can see my existing blog posts you know are all down here here's the ones I've done so far in the last week or so published I've got one in draft and then you can see that the author name is Greg Start Starting Up so that's me and basically if I want to make a new post it's as easy as pressing this create new post button and uh, if I want to go into an existing post and change it it's as easy as pressing this edit button so we go into my, one of my existing um, posts let's go into the sh uh, what is Shopify posts and I'll show you exactly how you can sort of change blog posts, add new things in, just how easy and straightforward it is to get up and running. So here we go. Here is my What is Shopify blog post. What is Shopify? So we can see I've got my title at the top, What is Shopify, Shopify for Dummies. I've got a link to my YouTube video here. So right at the top of my uh, blog post, you can watch a video relating to what I'm writing about. Um, it's super easy to embed this video. And here, look, I can make that video small, medium sized, full width. Uh, I can put it on the left and have some text on the right, or I can align it to the right and have text on the left, or I can remove it. But I'm gonna put it back to what it was, best fit. And then underneath, look, we have all of my text here, uh, you know, for the rest of the blog post. And we've got some images embedded. And it's super easy, like, you, you literally just click it anywhere here. And then you start typing. I am adding a new sentence. I go down, 
Um, you can change that. You can make stuff into quotes here, give it a different um, style. I can, if we go down, yeah, if we go down further, here's my image look. I can change the size of the images and align that. I can do settings for the image um, and give it a caption if I wanted to. I could say, I could add a link to that image. Real like, but you know, everything you need from a blog in a really easy to um, control way. And we yeah, we've got down here, we've got some links here that we use for my um, blog post. So I can click on the link there and see the link that's been used. I can remove the link. Um, so yeah, real straightforward stuff. And here we go, we've got a divider. I can change the style of the divider. So it's as easy literally as pressing create new blog posts and starting to type. And you know, and I've got the images on my computer. I just import an image and I've got, um, you know, uh, I've got the video from YouTube. I can embed a video from YouTube. We go down to the bottom, add an image, add a gallery of images, add a video, add a divider, all the stuff you need is down the bottom. And I can even insert HTML code at the bottom if I want to, but I don't, so I'm not gonna press that right now. And then when you've made your changes, you just press publish changes. If it's an existing post, it will be updated. If it's a new post, it'll be added to your website. So yeah, I didn't show you before, but when you're making those blog posts, there's a settings area you can go to where you assign a category to your post. And then when you come to your blog page on the front side of your website, you can easily filter by the category that you assign to your blog post. But I wanna show you one more cool bit. So if we go to my web page, Merch by Amazon, I can have a little blog feed on this page that just shows me the blog post related to that topic. So right on the blog page, you've got um, the categories you can select, but on Merch by Amazon page, I can say only show me the Merch by Amazon blog posts. And the way that's done is, I'll just jump back to the back end. We're gonna go to the Merch by Amazon page on the back side of the website is I've added a custom feed to my Merch by Amazon blog page underneath the sign up box. And basically if we click on this custom feed and go to the settings of the custom feed, I can basically select which category of blog posts I want to be shown in this feed. So I can choose a category here and uh, I can either press all posts or I can select the two categories I've started populating on my blog. So for this one, I'd press Merch by Amazon because it's on the Merch by Amazon page. And it's as simple as that. Cool, so that's it really. I've been using Wix quite a lot over the last week or so, and it just really impressed me, this part of the functionality, like how quick and easy it is to get your blog post up and running. If you wanna use Wix yourself, I'll put a link below so you can get like, I think you get like a sign up trial or like a bonus on prices. I can't remember exactly what the deal is, but I'll put a link to my um, Wix affiliate link below so you can get up and running with a Wix website if you wanna do it yourself. But yeah, you know, like I think having blog posts are really important. I've been focusing on video purely up until now, and now I'm gonna start doing videos with supporting blog posts to try and widen my audience and just provide value for people who prefer to read rather than watch videos. Um, if you're thinking of doing something similar for your brand, your business, I'd really recommend having a presence on different platforms, so video and also blogs, as well as like podcasts and other stuff. So, you know, just stick with it, put the hard work in, like I said, like I can always say on this channel, consistency and hard work will get you most of the way. So just get up and running, start a simple, easy site like this one, get your blog posts out there and start building audiences. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, everyone. Really appreciate it. Like I said, at the start of the video, videos every Monday and Thursday, make sure to subscribe to Start Starting Up for more useful information like this. And I'll see you very soon.